now we will look at a numerical uh, which is computing the probability of survival when non integer ages are involved calculate the probability of survival to age 60 exact using elt 15 males for a life aged 45 and a half so currently the life is aged 45.5 and we are looking at the survival up to 60 means actually I want to compute 14.5 P 45.5. Right and uh, these are using two approximate methods. So probably uh, one approximation will try to uh, go with uh, assuming uniform distribution of deaths between the integer ages. So between 45 and 46, I can very well assume a uniform distribution of death. That is one assumption. The second I could uh, even look at as the constant force of mortality between 45 and 46. I am more interested only during that particular period because the same question will get translated into... 0.5 p 45.5 means the first probability that the survival will be up to 46 multiplied by 14 p 46 so 14 p 46 i can very directly get so there is nothing much for me to uh, compute here because i can directly uh, get as l60 by l46 so this is a straightforward, only this number will be a required. So for this, I'll go either with uniform distribution of deaths assumption or the constant force of mortality assumption finally to compute the second, the, the first part. Second part is straightforward for both the numericals, right? So let's uh, try out uh, the computation aspect for this. Yes, the probability of survival to age 60. So, first of all, I require 14P46, right, which is uh, uh, something easier to compute. For that, I require L60 as well as L46. So, these two numbers, let me uh, pull out from the tables, right, uh, let me uh, pull out these numbers from the tables. Here, I am uh, using... ELT 15 tables, not uh, the AM 92. So I'll pull out the L60 as 86,714 and L46 I'll take as 95,266. So based on these two, I'll get my uh, 14P46 as L60 divided by L46 which is around 0.91 now I will go with UDD kind of an assumption uniform distribution of deaths between so I may have to find out uh, I may have to find out 0.5 P 45.5 now this is as good as P X plus S T minus S. See, if at all something is of that form, here X is 45, S I'll take as 0.5 and T if I take as 1. I know that I can write this as T minus S times, right? I can write it as T minus S times QX divided by 1 minus S times QX. So it is as good as 0.5 times Q45 divided by 1 minus of 0.5 times Q45. So for this I require my Q45. Alright, so let me uh, compute Q45 here. Or let me pull out the Q45 from the ELT tables, ELT 15 males. Q45 is 0 0.00266, right? So based on this, I'll get my 0.5P 45.5 is working out to 0.5 times Q45, 0.5 times Q45, 
let me do it 0.5 times q45 divided by 1 minus 0.5 times q45 working out that 0.5 p is around uh, this so the multiplication of these two is going to give me 14.5 p 45.5 is working out to 0.5 p 45.5 first and then multiply by 14 p 46 working out to point uh, oh this is uh, this is coming out to q so i'll take this this is uh, q 0.5 q 45.5 is going to be this so 0.5 p 45.5 is going to be 1 minus this so here also i'll not take a p part i'll try to take the q part i'll try to take the p part so this is coming out to 0 0.9090 the probability of survival for an age 45.5 for another 14.5 years this is going with uniform distribution of deaths assumption but if i am going with a constant force of mortality assumption during this period the second part remains the same so only the first part i am more looking at 0.5 p 45.5 and here we are simply uh, talking about it uh, as e to the power of minus 0.5 mu mu 45 because we are assuming a constant force of mortality during this period during this entire period we are talking about a constant force of mortality which means my mu 45 is directly coming out as minus log 1 minus q45 so directly i can now very well come out q45 is already known so from here i'll calculate mu45 mu45 comes out as minus log 1 minus q45 this is coming out to be my mu45 in this case so, which means I could very well uh, find out 0.5 p 45.5 is directly e to the power of minus, minus 0.5 times mu 45 working out to 0.99 something. So from here, I can very well compute 14.5 P 45.5 again with the same mechanism. Multiply this number with 14 P 46, which will give me 909019. This is slightly on the higher side compared to this when I'm doing it as a small adjustment. So depending on what is the assumption that I'm going with, I can simply calculate the stuff because it is nothing but e to the power of minus mu t minus s. That's it. See, 0.5 p 45.5 is nothing but during the period it is quite, quite constant e per minus t minus s minus mu. Um, I multiplied by mu. Now, again, if I have to uh, find out uh, mu, mu I am getting it. Uh, as minus log 1 minus q so this is where i'll first compute the mu and then go back to really compute the p part all right this is what we do as a part of the computation of the probability of survival if we are looking at non-integer ages